morning everybody I'm in Thompson Manitoba which is up in the northern part of the province just grab some fuel it's actually not too much more expensive it's a dollar 32 a liter here for my price and down in Winnipeg is a dollar 30 so it's actually pretty close it's usually more expensive up here than down there so uh, I filled up up here now we're gonna go unload we have a empty sea can on my trailer behind us can you see it in my mirror We're gonna go get that off my trailer and head back home.
did go the wrong way. <laughs> Probably would have been easier if I would have come in this way. Like this is a bay, right? It goes all the way around. Oh, we made it either way. Took the scenic route, but we got here. It's a skating rink out here. Gotta be careful. We're about to get this can off. We got my co-worker Rick's off already. Gotta be very careful that we don't get stuck. Cause this is literally a hockey rink here. Again, I should have brought my stick and a puck, a pair of skates. I keep forgetting those at home. We don't have this much snow back down south. Very careful. I'm gonna crawl in here and get ready. My part is coming. So you'll be able to see in my mirror. He's gonna come up beside me there. You can see his forks there. And as soon as he has that weight off my trailer, hopefully I can just pull forward. Though I am on sheer ice right now and I'm on a little bit of an incline. I'm worried I'm gonna be stuck right here. I got my diffs locked, my axles locked. Hopefully I can pull out of here. Almost there. Hurry up and wait, right? You gotta be careful. You don't wanna catch anybody off guard. You gotta make sure we're all on the same page. I don't move until I get the signal from both of them. One guy on the ground and there's one guy in the loader. Okay, they're gonna go check, see if it's clear. Okay, and I got the go-ahead. And I got the go-ahead. Aha, uh -huh. and I'm not stuck. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. And there it is, on the ground. Put the air back in these airbags before I forget. That would be awful. Oh, come on. I'm gonna need two hands for that, aren't I? Uh, it's always something, right? It's always something. Close this box. There you go. There. Close. All right, so I just got to grab my chain back because he had one of my chains over there. Throw that into my headache rack. And then we'll be out of here. On my way home. I'm going straight home from here. Now they're just pushing it into position where they want it. Another fun day trucking. Gotta remember my equipment. Time to get out of here. Now getting out of here, this is gonna be a little tricky because it's a very narrow driveway. The guy in front of me has a shorter wheelbase than I do and a Volvo that can turn sharper. I 
got the big W9 and a bit of a longer wheelbase on my trailer, so this will be uh, this will be fun. Yeah, it was tight getting in here, very tight. Let's see what he's gonna do. We had a front end loader come onto the road there and widen it out for us, so we have more space. I'm gonna wait here until he's out. See how he does it. Looks like he's doing good. Oh, he's got lots of room. Lots of room. Oh, this won't be a problem at all. Oh, yeah, lots of room. Yeah, now he can clean that stuff. Oh, it's done to room. All right, let's see what this longer wheelbase can do. So we're going to hug the left and we're going to turn right.
Bob at McDonald's. He watches my videos. He recognized me as I was ordering. He came and said, said hello. Hello, Bob. He's been living up in Thompson for 45 years. Said he worked in the mines here for 35 years. Sounds like he's retired now. Didn't get to talk to him too long or for too much, but hope you're having a great day. quickly rush home. It's about 8.30 and my son goes to bed at 9. I'd like to get there to see him yet before he goes to bed. Hopefully I don't get him too riled up. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay. 
So it was a good trip. We're gonna do the exact same thing again next week. So today I'm filming this, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's a Easter family gathering on Brit's side. Saturday, we're going to Thief River Falls and back. Sunday is an Easter gathering on my side. Monday, we're doing a Thompson run again. Monday and Tuesday, back and forth. Exact same thing, another empty sea can. I told you that already, didn't I? Well, now you know twice. You double know. Now you are in the know for sure. For sure. All right. Okay. Time to go home. I got home just in time. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Got home just in time to put Theo to bed. Now we gotta take the dogs out. So this is bedtime is nine o'clock. I got home at about three thirty. So it's bedtime is about nine o'clock. I got home at eight thirty. Just enough time to quickly shower. Get him ready for bed and put him down. I'm just gonna let the boys do their thing out here now. And then I'm going to bed. I'm tired. It was a long drive down from Thompson today. It's a, it's a pretty long day. It's a longer drive than it looks. But I guess it is a full day. What? Eight and a half hours? And if you haven't seen our backyard at night yet, there it is. Those are the lights I was telling you about. We had lights sort of like that at our old place too, that small little house, but we used those Christmas icicles. When we moved here, we bought these. This is just one package, about 200 and some feet, I think. We have another one yet. So this summer I'll be putting more up. I'd like to string some across here, but that might be too much. Thinking we might be building a tree house up in that tree. Or my dad and my father-in-law, they both want to build a tree house for Theo. It's either there or there. But this, well, it might work in this tree. I was just thinking because the playhouse is right there already and the swing set is right there. It might make sense just to build it right up in there. I don't know. Or we could build it up in this tree and have a zip line down to the playhouse and swings over there. Oh, that'd be fun. Now, it must have been pretty warm because a lot of the snow that was here when I left is gone again. Frank, stop eating the snow. Go inside, come on, I wanna go to bed. What you... He just eats random bits of snow and he'll just sit there and keep chomping and chomping and eating and eating until you come and stop him. I mean, if I left him to it, he'd probably clean up his whole backyard of all the snow. So thanks for hanging out with me today on the way down from Thompson. And as we unloaded that sea cam, I'm going to do the exact same thing again. So uh, if you want to go for another adventure, each one's different. Even if I'm kind of doing mostly the same thing, each time's different. So tomorrow there won't be a video. But there won't be much of one. Maybe there'll be a small, short one. But uh, it's a it's a family day. We're going to have a Easter gathering on her side of the family. We'll see. There might not be one tomorrow. But tune in anyways. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button down below. It helps me out the most. And if you want to support us one step further, you can click the Join Now button below the video. Become a member. A premium member gets early access to all my videos. See you guys later. Take care. Come on, Chevy. Let's go.